Expectations for them to log in and meet with their principals. The new school year beginning online for thousands of Columbus City School students while thousands of teachers spent the day on the picket lines instead of in the classroom. We thank you for joining us for NBC4 at 5. I'm Jennifer Bullock. And I'm Jared Smalley. The remote start to the school year left many families frustrated even as the school board and the Columbus Education Association returned to the bargaining table today. We have team coverage for you tonight from the superintendent's plans for the first day to the reality families faced logging on this morning. First, let's begin with NBC4's Anna Hoffman with the latest on the district and the union where those negotiations stand. Anna, both sides say they want to come to a resolution quickly here. What's the latest? That's right, Jared. Today, teachers just wrapped up their picketing for the day and they will be back tomorrow. That's unless both sides come to an agreement. Now that bargaining session is happening behind closed doors at a neutral location and the spokesperson for CEA tells me they're ready to get this done. The first day of school for Columbus City Schools teachers looks a little different than usual. It is hard, you know, because I want to be in school. I love that excitement of the first day and meeting them and finding out what they did over the summer and seeing the kids that I had before run up, you know, and say, hey, Miss Fuentes, you know, those are the moments that I'm not getting to have today. The Columbus Education Association has been on strike for three days now. After countless hours of contract negotiations, two final offers from CCS and no agreements. Wednesday, both sides met to negotiate for the first time since the strike started. CEA spokesperson Regina Fuentes says they will not back down until their safety needs are met. The biggest hope is that they have listened to the community. They have heard, you know, what the parents want, what the students want, and that is to have safe, you know, fully resourced, well made schools in every neighborhood. Bottom line. Fuentes says they also want to limit class sizes and ensure all schools have PE and art teachers. She says pay is always a part of negotiations, but not their top priority at this time. So we are doing this out of pure heart. Our motivation today is to get this done, and hopefully the, the board's motivation is to get this done as well. We have not gotten any word on how that negotiation session is going or how long it will last. Fuentes says that if all goes perfectly, the kids will be back in the classroom tomorrow, so she hopes that the board is listening. Local for you in Columbus, I'm Anna Hoffman, NBC4.